Hey guys, welcome to the world of Asilk. Today I'm going to be featuring my mod manager and it's been updated a few times since uh, initial release and I want to show you all the new features. So basically, uh, if you don't know what this is, it's a mod manager I made for SimCity 2013 and it eases the process of uh, installing mods and deleting mods, you know, all that fun stuff, something a mod manager would do. If you haven't, if you don't know how it works, then just watch the other video I made on it because I basically go over how it works. But this video is more of a what's what did I add thing, uh, I guess. So first of all, what I added is a auto updater or a check updater. So this runs in the beginning when you start up the program. If there's a update, like a, if there's an update present, then it will show you a screen with all the with all the updates and stuff what's new and stuff and you can uh, click the link or click OK and it will bring you to the page so now instead of going to the page every now and then to check if there's an update you can do it straight from the mod manager which is really convenient I'd say uh, another good feature so let's uh, let's add some mods here so let's oh yeah so if you didn't see that so here we have the option to install to another folder or uh, install as an offline mod. Now, basically, I don't have any uses for offline right now. Uh, the only thing it's good for is like sorting. So like if we want to, assort, um, to install to another folder, we can pick, let's say if you wanted to go into user data, you just click user data, but we're not going to do that. I need to get a cancel button. Maybe another uh, in another update. All right. So that's good. Uh, just to show you how the offline works, let's try to find offline mod if I have any. Um, I should have it. I think there's an offline mod here. Here, so you can just you know set as offline and. As you can see here, it says offline true, and now I added column sorting, so it actually sorts. So if you want fall uh, non offline first, it'll show non offline. If you want online first, then no, so on and so forth, and by alphabetical order, which is pretty cool. So basically, another feature I added is the ability to install multiple mods at the same time, and as you can see two mods installed, I can install a third one, and I can delete it all. Like that. And of course, you can also delete multiple mods from the available mod list. Add like that. Really easy. Uh, lots of new improvements. Also made improvements over the buttons. Tell me what you guys think of the color scheme. I'm trying to figure a good... I'm trying to like find out a good color scheme because uh, originally, like in a previous update, I had my color scheme looking like this, and my friends told me, "Ew, that looks ugly." <laughs> but I don't know; it looks pretty good for me. But well, I changed it to gray, gray, orange, orange, orange. So yeah. Oh yeah, one more thing that you can. Uh, I made it so that you can open the game folder from the options. So if you ever need to do some, you know, uh, like. I don't know. If you ever need to do something in that folder, you can open it easy from here. But anyway, that's all the updates. Oops, frick. <laughs> what just happened? Anyway, that's all the updates uh, for today. Thanks for watching. Camtasia just went away. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, see you guys later.